Hi, I'm not a mechanic, but I play one on TV. No, just kidding. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to fix an issue I have with the 1999 Ford Explorer Sport. Now, I'm sure this video, uh, this situation will apply to a lot of other Ford vehicles, maybe some other vehicles too. But in this case, this is what happened here. Basically, what I did was one day I charged the battery of the car. The truck was sitting around for a couple of weeks. It's my second car, so I hadn't driven and I was out of town on business. When I came back, the car, wouldn't, the, uh, the Ford Explorer wouldn't start. So basically what I did was I charged the battery and I wasn't paying attention when I put the battery back in, which is a common problem sometimes. And what happened is I, it's, when I put the battery back in, hooked the cables up improperly, I got a spark from, the posit or from one of the sides of the battery terminal there. Well, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But, what I, but the car wouldn't start, so what I did was nothing would turn on. So I went immediately, obviously, went to the fuse panel that's located inside the uh, driver's door here. There's one there, and there's one here um, with some major fuses up here up at the top. So I went in there, and I replaced the fuses, and voila, the car started. Well, I noticed when the car started, the battery light was on. I thought, mm, okay, that's not a big deal. Maybe there's something it has got to recycle or something. The battery light will come off. Well, what happened was I actually I went, took the car out got halfway to my destination, the car died. Had to have it towed back here, was thinking maybe it's an alternator problem. I blew some voltage regulator or whatever in there. As I said, I'm not a mechanic, but I can, I know a little bit about cars. So I got it back here. I thought, okay, I ordered a voltage regulator for this alternator, put it on, still didn't work, the battery light was on, even though the battery, the charging indicator was draining. So the next step was to go ahead and get an alternator. I put the new alternator on, same thing. Took my old alternator, went back to the auto parts store. They said it was great. Now, this is getting even more complicated because I think I've got a major electrical issue here. Well, I can't tell you how many YouTube videos I went through, or I, I, I studied and went through to try to find the situation. How many mechanics I talked to over the phone? How many car dealerships I went to talk to the mechanics there? Everybody told me something different. They said it might be the PCM, um, which is the uh, power control module, which is a little computer in there, uh, things like that. They told me there are fusible links in here, which are no fusible links in a 1999 Ford Explorer, I'll tell you now, which I, did, I didn't find any. Anyway, but what happened was, what I finally hit on, and it took me a while, was there is a major fuse up here Besides this, they call it a battery box, but it's another fuse box up on top of the car here, right in the corner. I looked through there a million times. I looked at all the fuses, pulled them all out, even tried the, the relays. Nothing seemed to work. I bought a, a relay to put it in there for the power control module. That didn't work. So after all my frustration, I finally found a major fuse that's located right behind this battery box. I'm going to show you that in a second, but once again, this is when your battery light them battery when you have a battery light issue. This is probably the situation because it was for me, and I got I'm sharing this video because I went through all this pain and anguish and finally found a simple remedy. So hold on one second. I'm going to show you right here on this 1999 Ford Explorer behind this battery box. It's right in the in the driver's side, right by the driver's side of the car. There's a little box, I'm going to unclip it right here, and right behind the battery box there's a 175 amp fuse, and you can see it right here. I took this out, brought it down to the auto parts store, $4.99 $4 later, put it on, started the car back up, it was perfect, and the battery light was off and it's been good ever since.